Platelet activation is a critical process in the human body that plays a key role in hemostasis, which is the body's ability to stop bleeding. Platelets are small, colorless cell fragments found in the blood that are produced in the bone marrow. When a blood vessel is injured, platelet activation is one of the first steps in the formation of a blood clot to prevent excessive bleeding. Platelet activation and clot formation involve a complex interplay of various factors, both cellular and molecular. These factors work together to form a blood clot at the site of vascular injury. Here are some of the key factors involved in platelet activation and clot formation. Endothelial cell damage. The process typically begins when the endothelial cells lining the blood vessel wall are damaged due to injury or inflammation. This exposure of subendothelial components initiates the clotting process. Collagen and von Willebrand factor. VWF collagen is an essential component of the blood vessel wall. When exposed, it serves as a surface for platelet adhesion. Von Willebrand factor, VWF, is a protein that helps platelets adhere to collagen and stabilize the initial attachment. Platelet adhesion molecules, platelets express specific surface receptors, such as glycoprotein IB, GPIB, which bind to VWF, and glycoprotein 6, GPVA, which binds to collagen. These interactions facilitate platelet adhesion to the damaged vessel wall. Platelet activation signals. Various molecules and signals can activate platelets, including thrombin. Thrombin is a potent enzyme in the blood clotting cascade that activates platelets and converts fibrinogen to fibrin, which helps form the clot. Adenosine diphosphate, ADP platelets release ADP when activated, which further activates nearby platelets and enhances aggregation. Thromboxane A2, produced by activated platelets, thromboxane A2 is a potent vasoconstrictor and further enhances platelet activation and aggregation. Platelet granules, platelets contain granules with various substances, including serotonin and ADP. These granules are released upon activation and contribute to platelet activation and vasoconstriction. Fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is a soluble protein in the blood that links activated platelets together, promoting aggregation. Thrombin converts fibrinogen into insoluble strands of fibrin, which help stabilize the clot. Coagulation cascade. The coagulation cascade involves a series of enzymatic reactions that ultimately lead to the formation of thrombin. Thrombin then converts fibrinogen into fibrin. This cascade is crucial for the conversion of soluble fibrinogen into insoluble fibrin. Factor 13. Factor 13 is an enzyme that cross-links fibrin strands, providing structural stability to the clot. Calcium ions. Calcium ions play a pivotal role in the activation of platelets and in various steps of the coagulation cascade. Prostacyclin and nitric oxide. Endothelial cells release prostacyclin and nitric oxide, which have antiplatelet and vasodilatory effects, helping to balance the prothrombotic, proclotting, effects of platelet activation. These factors interact in a highly regulated manner to ensure that clot formation occurs in response to injury but is also controlled to prevent excessive clotting throughout the vascular system. Dysregulation of these factors can lead to bleeding disorders or thrombotic conditions, and medications are often used to modulate these processes when necessary.